tech sector has been trying to disrupt healthcare for decades with very mixed results. Will the latest iteration of AI be enough to really overtake healthcare, replacing doctors as we know them? We're nowhere near that just yet. Three main issues that will prevent or slow down the development of future AI. Welcome back to the Crossover Connections with Jack Wayne podcast. My name is Jack. I'm a scientist and college professor at an Australian university. The developers of the AI tools very few of them are doctors and scientists in the sense of medical scientists. A lot of people who go into computational biology, they've been waiting many years to have a perfect computational mathematical equation that explains all of biology and can make very reliable predictions about what's going to happen. But when you go into a wet lab and do the actual experiments on living cells, there is so much variability cell to cell that no single mathematical equation has yet been able to capture the full breadth of complexity in a single cell. So we're still quite a while away being able to use AI to make predictions on our behalf and trust that implicitly. We're nowhere near that just yet. Just having access to the patient data and training the algorithm is not enough. You need a lot of human vetting and manual overriding of AI's decision in the initial training of those large language models, let's say, to be able to generate those predictable human-like responses. And I believe right now we're still in the infancy of this. We need clinical condition to be more integrated into the AI development for it to be of maximal use to those very same end users. Clinician-led decision-making needs to be at the forefront of AI tools. No, AI is not going to replace doctors. Doctors need to be there to make the AI a more reliable partner. I don't think medical review boards will be comfortable with AI making the patient recommendations. It needs to present the information to the doctor in a very concise, systematic, evidence-based way and let the human make that last decision. In fact, doctors need to play a much stronger role in making AI that much better before healthcare is going to be revolutionized by artificial intelligence. In the discussion of this research paper, they highlight three main issues that will prevent or slow down the development of future AI in use for healthcare. Issue one, underperformance of AI on complex language processing tasks. Medical records, for those of you who are in the medical field, are a nightmare. Bad handwriting, bad grammar, acronyms, there's shorthands that only some nurses and some doctors use. There are different drugs with different versions of the names with different dosages for different patients. This is a complex language processing task. And to date, AI has not been trained on all of these different permutations of medical records other than the very clean, sanitized version that you would put into a database that it would have access to is not yet ready for doctor's handwriting, that's for sure. Issue two is an oversimplification of clinical problems. And it simplifies it as a linear task that has a series of sequential decisions. But in medicine, it's not like that. It's very iterative. It's very trial and error. Let's try this treatment. Is the patient improving? If not, let's go back, try something else. But then you have a new piece of information about how the patient responds. Maybe you discover a new sensitivity to a drug or a new allergy and you go back and adjust the dosage, those iterative back and forth decision-making processes are not linear. And right now, the AI algorithms are not optimized for dealing with that workflow. The last issue, and this is the issue that I think is the most important, is explainability. The black box approach of AI is a huge problem wherever AI has seeped into the workflow. It can give you an output, but the black box of its mystery is crucial to its perception of being an ingenious machine and to trick us into thinking it's way smarter than it really is. It won't let us under the hood to let us see what it's actually doing where it's drawing its data sources from. And again, open AI is not particularly open or open at all. If you can't explain how you arrived at a decision when it comes to patients, you will not be able to convince the patient's family. You will not hold up under medical board review. And if you're sued for a poor patient outcome by their family, the explanation cannot be the AI recommended that I make this decision as a surgeon. I'm Jack. Hope to connect with you again next time around.